Welcome back to What's New. Last night was a big night in the music industry. The Grammy Awards took place, featured star-studded performances. For some of the biggest highlights, here's Kiara Cotton now with your Monday Pop Break. Award season is in full swing. In the 63rd Annual Grammy Awards aired last night and did not disappoint. Trevor Noah hosted the Socially Distanced Awards show from outside and indoor sets near the Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles. This is not a Zoom background, all right? This is real. There was no live audience, just performers and nominees. Harry Styles opened the show with a sweet performance of Watermelon Sugar that took home the win for Best Solo Pop Performance. Watermelon Sugar High. Lizzo, in all her glory, let one slip, cursing live on air while announcing the winner for Best New Artist. The winner, Megan Thee Stallion, took home three Grammys last night and shared an epic moment with Beyonce as they accepted the award for Best Rap Song. The Queen Bee herself also made history, becoming the most decorated solo artist in Grammy history. With 28 awards, she gave a heartfelt speech honoring her husband and three children. Y'all are my babies, and I'm so proud of y'all. I love you so much, my rock. Enjoy your night. Bruno Mars paid homage to Little Richard, while Lionel Richie honored Ken Rogers. Taylor Swift took home the award for Best Album with Folklore, and Billie Eilish won Song of the Year for Everything I Wanted. The only major hiccup of the night appeared to be the exclusion of Naya Rivera during the annual tribute to the musicians and music industry members we've lost. All in all, the award show was a success. Here's to next year. And of course, we need to address Jennifer Lopez and Alex Rodriguez. According to new reports, the two are still together after a report of a split last week. And apparently, they want us to mind our own business. But what's the fun in that? I'll keep you updated with the latest information as I find out. Back to you guys.